Greetings everyone, my name is Altarion and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper, my friends. Today I'm very active, very lively, very optimistic and I'm very much ready to see how everything is going to unravel. We've got Feng, at least Harden, who has done something with Feng. He still needs to remove our tracker from our neck or whatever or wherever it is. We got the Dambur Tea House for whatever reason it is blinking, I do not know. We still need to go and get Fungus. But it costs 150, we do not have that. We can climb this thing for whatever reason, we can climb it to whoever, wherever we go. Then we have... Oh yeah, we've got to pay, uh, pay this guy's debt so long as we... As he lets us live. And then we have the Overlook Bar. But we still need to work, oh, two, four, five, we need to work five perfect times five perfect shifts to progress or at least to get a place to sleep or something are you a scrap dealer i don't like that i'm not a physical working guy i'm not that strong anyways harden uh, okay it's been more than a few cycles since fang confronted harden and the silence since has been noticeable in your time with fang you haven't exactly found him to be reliable but you did exactly, you did expect to hear the end of whatever plan he put in action. But, if he won't come to you, you think, as you approach the Heavenish building, then it is time to come to him. After all, he did promise to fix your tracker. And you are getting very nervous. Well, of course getting nervous, that, that freaking killer bounty hunter is right here. As you approach the bay door, you see them wide open. A light pouring out of the once dark room. Stacks of servers and terminals sit outside the bay, suddenly robbed of their mystery by the bright flood of lamps. A figure in heaven and security fatigue steps out of the bay as you get closer, carrying a stack of hardware. Uh, approach. As you get closer, you see the security officer tapping up machines from Fang's stash with what looks like a hazard tape this isn't good you again Harden is there leaning beside the bay entrance so calmly that you barely noticed him he has a slate in his hand an inventory of seizures scrawled across it predictable further evidence of fangs con collusions you see another security officer come out of the bay and take notice of you. I'm just gonna say hello, Harden. Harden pushes away from the wall and comes closer. Do not worry, sleeper. We have all the evidence we need. A confession won't be necessary. Spying on fellow Heavenage members, hoarding Solheim's material, an obsession with corporate data. It speaks for itself, does it not? Uh, I'm not going to say anything, just stay silent. Nothing to add. We are the ones that provide the oxygen you are breathing here. The light you are seeing. The systems you are using every day to live out of your cycles. This place was hard fought for, sleeper. It took work, diplomacy and strength to stop the eye. Descending into chaos after Solheim collapsed. Not blind conviction or self-interest. I'm not going to agitate him any longer. I'm just going to... Feng isn't selfish. I know all about the background of our mutual friend, Sleeper. Do not worry about that. His parents will be sickened by the damage he's trying to do to the situation they helped found. So he is the Harden. Oh damn, he is. He is. You see, Sleeper. We are proud of our history here. Andre Erlin and his first union founded this place and Heavenage has welded his values into the very walls of this place. We will never turn away the hard-working, the just, the true citizens of the eye. Heaven and charm the gang of Yatagan. We aren't pirates like half the spacers you'll meet in the hub, or 
Asterox Esoterics like the Hyper Radicals in the green way. We haven't met those yet, guys. We are the backbone of this place, proud and true. We named their lens I, Sleeper. This is our station, so please take your false accusations elsewhere. Before I decide that I do need a confession after all. Well, it is not my battle to fight. I tried helping. Pang, he disappeared. It was his choice to leave us out in the open without any information, without nothing, so... I'm not going to stick my nose in any further, as long as Fang does not ask help, or at least, as long as he does not remove the tracker. If you have any pride, you'll give up Fang, the moment he contacts you. You know where to find me. And with that, Harden turns his back and walks back towards the security officers, ordering them to continue to clear out. As they do, something catches your eye among one of the server stacks. A crumpled, hard-printed box of synthetic chewing gum. A penguin character grinning from the brightly colored card. And scrawled into it, a speech bubble reading. Take me to Tambour. Take it. You carefully pocket the box. Excuse me. You carefully pocket the box. Making sure no one is watching and then turn away. Just as another stack of server is wheeled out of the bay. What are you what have you done, Fang? And where the hell is Tambour? We know that guys. Tambour, Tambour! There is Tambour! There is Tambour! So we've got a couple of things we now know know. Where do we go, guys? Where do we go? Can we go up? I really want to see what's up in the upper level station. And what do we do with... Um... Yeah. I think we are kind of in the clear from the hunter and the killer. Yeah, the killer can still be here. But is it really good to disable a program that keeps just that little bit of safety? Otherwise, maybe the net will be just... Complete chaos and every hacker can access it like easy. So the duck, do we need? We definitely need cash, but we still have a lot of um, um, what's it called, man? What's it called? Our uh, stable stability, our uh, you know, our, our our health, I would say. But we do need some food. We definitely, definitely do need some food. Where is our money? There is our money. Give me some food, man. There we go, we are back to 24, which is not great, not amazing at all, but let's go. You feel stupid doing this, but the penguin says take me to Tambour, and this is the only Tambour you can find, so let's place the penguin right here. The waitress looks at you with suspicious as you hand over the box. Is this the right place? As you, as you go to leave the Tambour Tea House, a hand falls on your shoulder. Oh, there he is, buddy! I'm, I'm, I'm actually too happy to see him because I, I still want to trust him. But um, you know, I hope. Yeah, he kind of betrayed us. Sleeper! Oh, damn! How did you find me? The penguin. Penguin? What are you? Oh, do you mean? He mimes, throwing gum in his mouth. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't meant for you specifically, but... Uh, uh, look, it doesn't matter. Come, let's sit. Fang's guides. Fang guides you down a set of stairs. The one of the tambour's lower levels. The tea house is stacked with curved mezzanines. Mezzanines! It's curved with mezzanines. Oh my god. All connected by a central atrium. The levels are filled with makeshift booths and bars, and conversation bounces busily off the metal walls. Feng sees you looking around. This place used to be a fuel tanker main drum, hence the name. The tea house part is a bit of a, you know, Miss Norma though, so uh, you can get anything the eye offers from this place, but realty isn't exactly readable, readily available. He picks a booth. 
It's self-fashioned for some old salvage tank or container, then lined with spongy insulation foam and collapses into it. He looks around, furtively. Don't suppose you've seen any heavenish types, did ya? Uh, they don't usually come out this far. Thank. Got the bullshit, man. What is going on? Well, I'm uh, I'm suspensed. This uh, this is the first thing, and the second thing is I'm pretty sure Harden wants to drop me off the rim in the eye. That doesn't bother me though, but uh, it shows we have a. Uh, it shows we we hit a nerve back there. He picks a scrappy hand screwed menu from the table and tosses it over. What are you drinking? Fang. Dude, why are you so calm? You know any reason why I shouldn't be? He leans in, suddenly concerned. But then waves the idea away. Hold that though, let's order first. Thing is right, the menu is ridiculous. There's at least 10 different infusions, most of which you can't make out. But the paper is dominated by an extensive complement of esoteric alcohol and cocktails. Black tea is listed without a price as a seasonal specialty. So you ran into Harden? Was he pissed? And that snake is so self-righteous, he might actually believe that Evelyn would approve this meritocratic bullshit. If Heavenage was like it should be, ah oh man, like it was founded to be, they would have shouted him down at any council meeting he dared to mention true citizens. Ah, uh, but I guess he kind of runs the place now. A young woman with a vine tattoo snaking up her arm turns up to the booth. A slate of hand, a slate in hand. Your order, please? You skim the menu, your eyes glazing over. Time to pick. Kelp infusion, a girol, neat. A samba arak? Yeah, give me that, sounds cool. Feng raises an eyebrow, as he notes it. And you, uh... <clears throat> no, ah, okay. The, um, the waitress. And you, she begins. Looking at Feng, but when she sees him, she suddenly stops. What the? Fang shrinks a little. You're supposed to be working! This is your shift! <laughs> Funny. But I'm going to be quite serious now. I'm going to say, woman, stay out of it. It's time to talk. Me and Fang have things to discuss. You were going to get the tracker out of me. Look, Lena. Uh, look, Jenna. Uh, let's just say, uh, I, this is my break. My friend here has been through a lot. I'm just going to nod. Thing also starts nodding. Two minutes. And only because I don't want to get dragged into what... Oh no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She says. Two minutes. And only because I don't want to get dragged into whatever this is. She gestures at the table and walks off. Ah, uh, What? You know how it is. We all have to eat. Plus... This is the best place around here to find a person you might be looking for. Uh, remember that web of connections that Harden pinged the moment uh, we confronted him? Those are his col collaborators. And if you want to understand what Solheim executive might be getting up on the eye, those are the people we have to find. There's a couple of them I suspect are in the low end, and well... Almost everyone in the low end comes through that place at one time or another. Well, I've set this up so that anyone with the network signature I'm looking for comes into uh, an proximity mark. Once they're marked, I, we can break through the uh, access protocols and then we can get a good stuff inside. We just have to find them first. Hence me, hence me Moonlight as a waiter. Suddenly a smile grows across his face. Wait, I have an idea! Oh no. Look, I can't cover enough of the low end on my own, and so far I've I've had no matches in this place. With two of us we can cover more ground. What am I getting into? Well We need to get you out and about in the low end. In close proximity to as many people and residents as possible. 
And it turns out my friend Mingi needs someone with help with deliveries. As in Mingi Express. So you already know him. Perfect. You know, it disconnects to my slate and <laughs> runs the same marking protocols. If you get near any of the targets, so all you have to do is make some delivery shifts for old Mingi. And soon enough, we'll have this place covered. No. Wait, 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 wait. Don't give me that. You think I like working here? And I thought you you could you, you could use the tips. We are in this together, right? Are we? Bang, this is serious business now. Yes! You think Harden is happy to have you wandering around this place? He might have let you wander for now, but I'm sure he has his eye on you. This is on you too. Just head on up to Mingi Express, make a delivery shift and we'll see what shakes up. You manage to find anyone and, and extract any data, bring it, bring it right down here to me. They have me on double shift, so I, sh it, I shouldn't be hard to find. Jenna walks past, carrying a tray of drinks, and sharply catches Feng's eye. I don't think she's bringing your drink. He stands. I think it's time we call this meeting a close. You grab the receiver from the table and slip it in your pocket. No! See you soon, sleeper. No! Come on! Feng! No! No! Oh my god, how long are we going to disable this tracker thing? Damn it! Damn it! Now, at least I can say that it's not that bad, guys, because we can more or less use the money. Because we have to have 150 to get across the Founders Gap. What's the name? Yeah, Founders Gap was here. Founders Gap, there it is, towards the Greenway somewhere. I don't know what, what, what we're gonna do with the free spoke. Towering Transit Hub to wherever it is. And we have to pay our... Our bounty hunter, Ethan. Yeah, anyways, where is Mingi Express? There is Mingi Express. Oh my god, are we bad at this? So, noodle manufacturing gives us free food, but that's good, but we need to make some deliveries. Feng wants you to take these delivery shifts so you can locate and hack his targets. The tips are small, but a welcome bonus. Okay, that's not too bad, it's not too bad, and uh, are we going to use our worst ones? Do we need to have a 100% positive effect? Uh, let's, say we'll, no, let's say we'll use a good one. Okay, let's use a mediocre one since yeah, we're just collecting money now. A full day of work. Okay, good. Keep on working. Keep on working. Oh, amazing. That was an amazing effect. Was a super duper amazing. One more, please. Uh, I did not fill uh, I did not fill it completely, but final one. We have got it. A shortcut across a bridgeway means three happy customers and three big tips. You start to understand the makeshift unit markings. Everything is delivered, Fang. I did what you asked. Sleeper! You see Fang coming up the corridor as you step out of Mingyi's. The kelp noodle smell still clinging to your clothes. He comes up fast and stops close, looking around suspiciously. I don't have long, take these! Feng palms you a couple of those metal thumbnail-sized drivers, ripper worms. My slate has been buzzing like crazy. It seems your delivery shifts have turned up our two targets. I knew you could do it. We now we nail those snakes. What do we do? Harden's boys are all connected by some of some kind of closed network. You break the access protocols on both of them, you should be able to gain uh, to gain the location on the nearest network ports. Slaughter Ripper Worms in those ports, one each, and then uh, then they'll feed me anything and everything stored on Harden's Shadow Network. Can't, can't wait to see that juicy plants they have in there. You hear the scuff of boots as a group comes up the corridor, likely on their way to place an order in Mingyi. You turn for a second, 
And when you look back, things are already halfway down the corridor in opposite direction. You raise a hand in a farewell and it's gone. You run your finger over the tiny ripperworm drivers in your pockets. A smile to yourself as you wonder how mad Jenna will be at Fang for this little excursion. <laughs> time to slot some worms. No, no, it's not time to slot some worms. It's time to go sleep. We've got no dices. We got nothing. And we still could not work decently enough at the restaurant so that we could get a decent place to sleep except for this freaking cargo uh, slot. Those are bad dice. Reroll. Better. 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 One more here. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. You have two cycles to pay the tab. Uh, here you go. Here you go. Don't kill me, bro. Oh my god. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> Ethan mockingly laughs across the bar. You look across to see him leaning. So many acrosses, goddammit. You look making... <laughs> Ethan's mocking laugh comes across the bar. You look across to see him leaning across in <laughs> and a pool of light empty. <laughs> Funny, that doesn't read so fluently. You look across to see him leaning across it in a... Pool of light, empty glasses, and spilled liquids glittering around. In a, uh, it's always dark in the compressor, but this cycle of the blah, blah, blah. it is always dark in the compressor, but this cycle the place is packed, a load of spacers mixing with the locals. Usually they run. It is always dark in the compressor. But it's cycle. The place is packed. A load of spacers mixing with the locals. You yeah, know, usually they run. Ethan spins a glass around the table like. Or they go spend their savings on some local heavy I have to put down. They don't pay. Walk away. Ethan gets to his feet. The glass falls and smashes, but he doesn't seem to notice. You think that's it? One round of drinks? And we're even, sleeper, come on! His hand comes to rest on the button of his handgun, dangling from the holster. Stop. Ethan laughs harder, and the people around him turn to see what's happening. I told you about begging. I'm a freelancer, sleeper, you just like you. We both signed the contract with SNR, didn't we? The difference is my word means something. He closes the gap, stumbling a little. What did you think? You could just run away from your contract, your debt? You could just steal that natty little body of yours and make it for a joyride. Play human for a cycle or two. You don't understand. It's my emotion. It's you, sleeper. That doesn't understand. For some of us pay our debts, but it's all the harder because of idiots like you. Thought I should thank you, though, for giving me such an easy job. I'm used to outlaw, you know? Real bounties. If I knew catching sad little escapees like you was going so easily, I would have changed clients ages ago. Someone shouts from the back of the bar for Ethan to shut up. He holds up a finger in that general direction without turning around. Ah, I'm not going to convince him to shoot me. I'm just going to stay silent. Nothing to add? Hmm. Good. Lesson learned. Ethan sins. Ethan sits. Heavily back down on his stool and searches through his glasses for one with something left in it. Thing is, sleeper, I can find you anywhere. He's seemingly drunk. It's actually wild that you haven't figured it out that Buddy isn't yours. And it will always betray you no matter what. He finds a glass and downs the contents as will I.
So please. I'll catch up with you, whatever. I need a- ugh. So please, go. I'll catch up with you whenever I need another. Leave. You turn on your heel and are out. Out of the cloying dark and the sweat stretch of the compressor. You walk hard and fast down the walkway, anger driving your footholds into the metal of the rim like hammers. Oh my god, oh we got an upgrade point. Do we have Oh we only have one point? What? Oh no, we need more points. God damn it. God damn it. Survival, that's a Well, that's easy to do, but we need hundred we don't have that. High hardness network, that's something we're gonna do. Get to know emphasis. Yeah, we need 150 for that. Everything revolves around money. Everything revolves around money. But but, 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 we need to hack some Hardens agents. Let's go. They were supposed to be somewhere here. Is that a Harden? That's a Yatagan. Harden and Yatagan. There's another Harden agent. You need... Ooh, you need a lot. You need a lot, man. I've got tubes. Also not. God damn it. You are so difficult to hack, man. I wanted to keep those good dices. Oh, damn. Anyways, let's use him because we don't have a choice. Extract the data. W oh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. We've only unlocked the port. Now we need to insert the the ripper worm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just hacking his uh, device. We're not stealing anything. There we go. There we go. That's one. Have the hardened agent. There we go. We can use a four. Oh, damn, we cannot. Hmm. Okay, just that tiny little itsy bitsy stuck there. But that's no problem. Um, I wanted to help her once more. Maybe we can use a, um, a mercenary to help us. Um, although it would be a waste to use this on that. Nah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's go to the compressors club. No. Not the compressors club. There we need to go to overlook bar and let's work a decent shift. Let's go super duper bonus, please Yeah, plus two Thank you Though I still have no idea what I need to do with the heaven edge data where to sell it what to do with it On what are we going to waste our twos? Oh my god, that's a negative outcome. God damn it. These dice are useless unless I Unless we use it to... Ah, not good as well. Unless we use it to hack something. But what are we going to hack? Low end. Do we, we have a little bit here. But that's what? That's going to be 50% neutral and negative. Yeah, well, let's do it. What can be negative? Oh, there we go. Just a little bit cryo uh, loss. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Perfect. One more, one more time information here and we're good. New drive? What's the new drive? Build a home. There's a derelict unit in the low end that remains unclaimed. With a lot of scrap and a little work, it could be yours. <gasps> Where? Can we have a home? Oh, we can have a home. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, nice. Before attempting to fix this place up, you'll need to amass enough scrap. Good. But do we have no scrap? We've got no scrap. What do I do with all this heaven edge data? God damn it. Anyways, do we've got some cash left? We do. Um, let's sleep without... Um, without eating. We'll eat in the morning. Uh-oh, why it's so silent? Oh, did we... Did our thing dec oh, but I think that decreases with time, so all good. And first, need money, money, please. Need, need yummy, yummy. I give you money, money. You give me yummy, yummy. Hmm. Thank you. We can, uh, we can survive a day. Uh, where was the agent? Yatagan, Harden. Does he require different things now? He does not. That bastard. But luckily, we've got a number three. Extract the data. Data extracted. 
Now we go and plant the ripper worm. So we gone, 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 and remove the tracker. Good. 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 That is fang. That is fang. Going to wait with the scrap a little bit. She. Oh, let's go first to Ankita. You know, we can probably use a mercenary. Ankita is crouched in the computing core of the Ambergris, swearing to herself when you enter. Ah, fuck, this shit's completely ruined the core connectors when they cut it. God damn it. Ah, the ship mine they ripped won't even be usable without replacing these. Amateurs. Can we repair it? Oh, hey, there's there's nothing to repair. We need an entire ship mine. Not exactly the first thing you can get. You can expect to dredge up from a scrap freighter. Fragments, maybe. Sections of a mine, but complete ship mines? No way. Ankita climbs out of the cooling well where the ship mine could be, should be. The space suddenly crowded with her on the same level as you, towering over you as she stoops beneath the low curved ceiling. Come on, nothing to be down here. She leads you back through the guts of the amber of the amber. Though you could find the way back yourself. The repair process has left you familiar with the cutter's idiosyncratic layout. All diagonal angles and bundle tubes. What do we do now? Ankita seems lost in thoughts. And you focus on the corridor, ducking below conduits and passing through bulkheads. Eventually you arrive in the galley. Through it, though it's hard to tell, most of the benches and prep surfaces are covered in half-stripped components and welded hull patches. Ankita shoves a box of filters to the floor and sits. <sighs> There's no way around it. We need a new ship, mind. I can salvage one. I like your confidence, sleeper. Maybe if you check the ore exchange or speak to some scrap dealers. Ah, she rubs her fort. It seems I'm about to do something very stupid, but uh, hey. I came here, didn't I? Why not make a run for it? She fixes you with a heart set. What? Run for what? Sleeper. You're all I've got. No crew, no friends, you're it. I appreciate the time you've put in the umber, Amber, but I'm sure she would do too. If she could. What I'm saying is if you, if you screw me on this, I will kill you. She leans over and hands you a stack of chits. A big stack of chits. You don't dare to count them. Get me that ship, mind sleeper. Don't make me regret this. You won't? Uh, look, just just get out of here before I change my mind. She ju So she gave me a lot of cash. Trusting me that I will create a ship mind for her. That's a lot of balls that you need to put into it. That's a lot of trust you need to put in a stranger. You slip out of the galley and head back towards the main lock. As you do, Amber growls and creeds like a caged animal. You reach a hand to, out to calm her. Time to find Ankita's ship mine, somehow. Okay. Okay, but I know where the ship mines will be coming. They'll be coming from here. Uh, anything we can do right now? No. But. But. It's like I said, guys. Are we going to try to do this? Are we going to try to do this? Can we? Oh, can we not? Oh, that's a shame. That's what I wanted to do from the beginning. Devs, please. Adjust this game. Make it possible so that the Ambergris can become a living ship. Oh, that would be so cool. Oh, that would be so cool. Um, Let us see. Assist the shipbuilder. I don't see at the moment nothing we can do here. Let's say we go to the art exchange. We can play at the exchange. We can sell components. We have no components, we have only data. Nobody wants that. That's a shame. We have the ore fabricator, but therefore we just need scrap three of those, which are quite expensive. Oh, we didn't receive that much of uh, of cryo eventually. Um low end. That's not an easy task. Not an easy task. Let's see what it is. Where is it? Fix the ambergris. Help her get it running. Find Ankita a ship mind. Yes, I know. A ship mind. A ship mind. Ship 
Ship builder. Let's first go talk to Fang. See what kind of options reveal uh, to us after that. As you walk into the temple, you quickly spot Fang arguing with Jenna. Straight approach, no time for chit chat. We need to get the uh, tracker removed. You come up behind Fang and he turns and notices you. Jenna stops, mid as you arrive. She turns to you. You again! You're here to vouch for this layabout? I am. <laughs> well, 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 well. And what are you two up to? Feng winks at you and interjects. <clears throat> it's like I told you, Jenna. I'm helping them out, getting them settled. Sorting their life out. They are a sleeper. You know what that means? Uh, of course I know. Look, F Feng, I, I, I get it. You are trying to help, but if, if you want to keep this job, you're going to need to... To be a little bit more reliable. Won't happen again, Jenna, I promise. Okay, then. She turns to you, to us. And look, I, I, I didn't mean to. Just be cool, alright? She turns and walks back to the barn. Well, well. Did know you stand up for me, sleeper. I appreciate the solidarity. Now let's take a look at uh, what you really are here, are here for. The slade is a whirring mess of code streams coming direct from the ripperworms as they dig through the agent's data and spin into threads for the slade to pick up. Anything good? Actually, why am I asking? I'm also an expert on uh, tracking and data. A lot of junk. A lot of junk and a lot of dull as hell message threads. A lot of tedious data caches, but definitely some good stuff as well. It stops the screen scrolling on an entry and expands it. Check this out. Fang shows you a screen. You see a bold corporate logo, not Solheim's, and a word below. Conway. He's working with Conway. I'm not going to do like, like I know what this is, I'm just saying to Conway. Conway Extractions, they're an automated extraction corporation, the biggest. They're in drone mining, colony reclamation, massive salvage jobs and everything. He's, he's been speaking with them personally. Got a whole chain of messages here, but it's mostly encrypted or re re redacted. Ah, oh, damn it. This is juicy. Oh, we can't nail it with him. Wait, 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 what is this? A wasteland reclamation facility right here on I? What? What's the bet this place is stuck into the waste? Wow, Feng, you're... What are you saying? I understand nothing, man. It's a section of the eye Erling couldn't reclaim. It was too damaged, too cut off. Back before the collapse, people would have got there by going down the connected spoke from the hub. But the spoke's broken down now, so the only way is the long way, round the rim, past the greenway. It shows you on his slate. Uh-huh. Conway have been making moves on the system since the collapse. I heard they look oh I heard I heard they took over one of the Solheim's old belt colonies a while ago, moved everyone out and reclaimed the whole rock. What's their angle? Harden has to be offering them something, but if Harden is involved in it, then we need to check it out. Simple as that. Man, that's a wild goose chase indeed. Yeah, maybe it is, but what do we have got to lose? Uh, ex uh, uh, Fang, I have a freaking new life I have to lose, man. We came on this bloody spa space station to reclaim a new life, not to get killed immediately just after escaping. Although, probably that uh, um, mercenary will, uh, contractor will kill us if we don't remove this, uh, this tracker from our, uh, from our uh, suit or whatever, body. Harding was a solemn executive. That's not something you just walk away from. People like that don't change. You don't make your money from exploiting the most vulnerable people in the system one day and then flip to the side next. I'm not about to drop this. He pinged these guys the moment he was found out. And they started rattling on about the Conway facility. The way I see it, we have to get to that facility. The answer to whatever Harding has been prepping, has been planning, has to be there. And we are going to catch him in the act. 
Give me five, maybe six cycles, and then I'll see you in the greenway. I seem to remember there's some old service docks on the outer hell. Up by the hyper, hyper building. Should be able to meet up. Thanks again, Sleeper, for sticking with this. I haven't forgotten about the tracker of yours. Thank God I was waiting for it. But I'm going to need you... To... I'm going to need to be back in my bay to pull the solution together. I'll be working on uh, fixing my brakes, he winks. Now I've got to go ask for some time off from Jenna. Wish me luck. He waves as he walks back in the bar where Jenna is standing. A look of deep exhaustion in her eyes. She's probably co covering his shifts as well. Poor, poor Jenna. But guys, but very good thing, guys, since we probably will not be needing to pay this. Since maybe a little thing can get us across. But... What are we doing with the agent's data, guys? I still have no idea. I'm going to, to make it a plus two. Why can we not? Oh, that's three points. I'm an idiot. Once more, I didn't pay attention. We need three points. Um, I really think there are multiple endings. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are multiple endings. But I don't want to make wrong decisions. I really want to help the uh, mercenary here. But, um, to get a ship mind. Where do we get a ship mind? Hmm. Take a sip of my coffee. Uh, it's not tea this time. You know, let us, uh, let us first and of all, foremost, finish exploration of the uh, low end. Let's start with that. There we got something. What have we discovered? Caster. You cross between two walls of units. One of the cavernous streets at the center of the low end. The pressurized bridges full of the clack of tavla. The shout of children, the whirl of air filters. Okay. Castor. Oh, I th low end data fence. Hopefully this is the merchant. Hopefully. Slipa. You turn to see a man sitting at the tavla tables alone, somewhere untouched by the hustle and the bustle of the people around. He gestures to the stool on the opposite side of the set, my man. You sit on the metal stool and he starts setting on the board with the counters, or at least the filler caps Lowen typically uses in their place. Caster. He says by the way of introduction. Looking over his glasses. Night or day? He asked, gesturing at the caps. Crudely sprayed. Day. He rotates the board so the white caps are in front of you. Let's begin. You both take a plastic die each, pit it in worn, and roll to determine who starts. Caster rolls a six, you a four. I lead. Play passes back and forth between you, the dice changing hands as the caps spread along the board. As it does, Caster speaks to you, eyes not leaving the caps. It is unusual to see a sleeper on the eye. That is why I wanted to play you. Play aggressively. After all, a sleeper mind must be somehow different to a human one. Being emulated, I mean. As Caster talks, you target his counters, halting his progress, but exposing your caps as you do. I don't mean to offend you. I merely see that you are by definition different. What has been subtracted in the emulation? What has been added? He stacks a wall of encounters. A boundary you must be, a, a boundary you must break. He hands you the dice. Do you ever think about the sleeper? About what you were before, what you are now. Always. You roll a double one and salute for your wall. Castro whistles. Woo! A holding game. Commendable. Ah, it can be brave to build from what came before. But we cannot idle too long, sleeper. The slower we move on, the sooner we are caught. The past you is not just an idea, a concept for you. It is a living, a breathing person. He looks over his glasses, his eye bright and wide. You split 
from them like shadows splitting from the caster. The way they may be sleeping now, yes, but one day they will wake and carry on with their lives, unaware of your fate, no matter what is yours. He hands you a dice, smiling. You are a branch, you are a branch, you are a branch severed from the main trunk, an unshoot who refuses to die, so to speak. You roll again under pressure now, trying to slip your caps out from under Castor before he solidifies control of the game. So what I am curious about is what you see yourself in all of this. What does this tangle of truth makes you? Driven. Castor laughs. Ha! That much is obvious, sleeper. I see it in your eyes. You are eager to make this all count for something. But driven towards what? He starts removing caps. His home board is now full. Is there an end here? Or is it endurance? You try a few more rolls, attempting to get back the game, but Caster clears his home board with a sense of, of the inevitable. He has known he was winning for a while. I feel I may have pushed too far. I apologize. My curiosity has a habit of getting the better of me. You roll to return a cap to the board, but all the spaces are blocked. Castor clasps, claps his hand apologetically. You play well, really. Your weakness is not your game. You have much to learn from each other, sleeper. I feel we could share knowledge, ideas, perhaps even data. His eyes glint with the last word. To our mutual benefit. He slips his final caps from the board. It's over, he has won. I'll see. Please, I don't want to make you comfortable. My intention is only to help you endure here, and I am able. Feed my curiosities. The game is over. You notice the bustle of the walkway once more. The call of the children, the deliveries, the arguments, and the reconciliations. They wash you over as you stand and leave. Caster nodding goodbye as you do. Crossing the walkway, you replay the moves of the game in your mind, looking for an opening you are sure was there. Yes! Final lay, guys! Final... Oh, five data! We need five heaven edge data. I know I was missing something and then I was thinking if we just not... If we didn't miss any, um, you know, exploration things. Because that's what it's all about, exploring. Damn it, I don't have any data of those, but that's okay. We need five of each. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think one of those smartest things to do maybe now is maybe get some salvage. Can we? No, let's try. We could use a little bit. Oh no, we just got cryo. Oh no, that's not. Oh, that's maybe that was maybe a little bit stupid or to do. Oh DM. Oh, we have another one here. Did I see you? Yeah, I did see you. One. Two. There were three? Huh? I think I missed one. Ah, oh, that's Yatagan. No, we don't need that. Although, let's use it. Otherwise, we will have wasted our um, dices. There we go. Perk, Icebreaker, plus one data extracted. Uh, icebreaker? Icebreaker? Can I not go uh, to... Hmm, okay. Anyways... And cycle, uh, no, no, end cycle, end the cycle, please. Yes, it was a very good and productive day, but where do we get the ship mine, guys? Where, where, where do we get the ship mine? I have no idea. I know we must be waiting until the merchant comes by, but when does he? Three cycles more, and we have how much was that? 60 each, 50 each, 30 each? I don't remember, but we need at least 180, so maybe we should work for a couple of cycles just to be sure. Just to be sure, but guys, we will do that next episode. This is getting very interesting. We now have a place where we can sell data. That's good. We need five each. I wonder how much cash that will be. But we will see that in the next episode, my friends. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips, tricks, or sharing your side of the story, if you've already played it, please do drop a comment down below. And um, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next episode. Have a great day, everyone.